there so today I'm gonna be trying out the new quest frosted cookies the birthday cake flavor it says it has one gram of sugar and one it says one gram of net carbs five grams of protein per cookie let me see if I can get the nutritional facts on there yeah and the ingredients Yeah, they're kind of in focus. Okay. Um, yeah, let's let's see. Um, milk proteins is is the protein that they use. Um, yeah, I don't see too many ingredients that I'm not okay with. Like I, there's a couple that I'm like I'm not really 100% sure one way or the other. Um, but I definitely don't see any red flags here, so that's definitely a good sign. Um, I am definitely intrigued to try these. They just came out with these, I believe. Um, and I think they have a chocolate one as well, um, which I'll be trying soon also. But it, theirs is like chocolate, chocolate. And sometimes I like chocolate, but sometimes like chocolate and nothing but chocolate kind of like bores me. So um, I wanted to try the birthday cake ones first. Here, they come in their little individual packages. Open it up and I'll show you what it looks like. It kind of looks like a thicker version of like, you know those like frosted animal cookies or animal crackers, whatever, um, that you used to eat as a child. That's what it kind of like, it's giving me those kind of vibes. So, okay. I haven't actually, I've not, not tried these yet at all. So let me try them real fast and then I will let you know what I think. Okay, um, they're really, really soft. They're definitely softer than I was thinking they were going to be. Let's see if you can see, like, what the actual inside looks like. It's not wanting to focus. Um, yeah, so these are softer than I was thinking they were going to be. I think they, I thought they were going to be a little crispier, um, but it's a pleasant surprise. I like that they're softer. They do have... Like, they're really, really good. I like them. Um, and I will definitely get them again. But they do have, you know, that little twinge of, like, aftertaste that protein bars and stuff can give you sometimes. It's the smallest hint of it. It's the smallest hint. Let me, let me try it one more time just to have a second bite. Yeah, it's the smallest hint of an aftertaste. Like, it's really, it is not prevalent at all. Um, I think they're really good. Uh, I don't have too many complaints. Texture-wise, they're great. They're soft-baked. Um, I really, really like the frosting on the outside, and the sprinkles are fun. Um, the, the, like, cookie part is pleasantly soft, and... And, like, it's not, I don't know, like, it's just, it's a really nice, soft consistency. Um, like, perfect thickness. The absolute smallest, tiniest little, you know, blip, I wouldn't even call it a complaint, really, because it's, it's really minuscule, is just that tiny little aftertaste. But really, with it being, like, so low-carb and something I can eat on the regular... I kind of make an exception for um, some of these products because I'm so, so incredibly grateful to have so many different, like, varieties and options available to me. You know, it's a nice little snack that I can just grab 
and not really have to fix anything. I don't have any dishes to do afterwards. <laughs> I can't stress enough how grateful I am that more and more companies are coming out with more of these low carb options and with better ingredients than they used to have. Because let me tell you, I used to do low carb years and years and years ago and they did not have like keto friendly anything. It was all just like not great artificial sweeteners and things like that. It's vastly improved now. Um, anyways, I'm di digressing off of this topic. Final verdict. Would I buy these again? Yeah, I would. And I will actually. <laughs> and I'm curious to see, um, what the chocolate is like. So I'll definitely be buying those. I found these at Target. I'm sure they probably have them at Walmart too. Um, but I just happened to be going to Target tonight and I happened to see them and, um, they looked really, really good. So yeah. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried these yet and what you think. And, um, like if you taste that tiny, tiny little bit of af like a aftertaste or what, what not, um, that protein bars and things like that can sometimes get. Yeah. So let me know in the comments if you've tried these and, um, your thoughts on them. I definitely would buy them again. And, um, I'm definitely intrigued to try the chocolate. I do like the other, some of the other Quest cookies. Um, it's been a really, really long time since I tried those, so I may have to retry those. All right, so yeah, definitely let me know what you think. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to, um, and hit the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I upload more videos just like these. All right, thanks guys. Have a great one.